has uh, Adoree maybe grown and adjusted, particularly since Malcolm's injury? Uh, you know, he was very active this last game. I don't know that Malcolm's injury, I think, had maybe probably any bearing on it. I just, I think he, he knows he's, <laughs> he's got to perform well, but I think he's always known that. Um, I just think he, I, you know, he played like we expected, you know, expect Dory to play. And I think he was, uh, I can't really tell you if there was any different in his approach. You'd, you'd have to ask him that. But, um, you know, I think he's always approached the game well. He's always practiced well. He's always been a good practice player. Um, I just think he had a really, I think he had a real productive game. Do you think punt returns coming off his plate in some way helped him defensively? Uh, that would be something. Paul, you'd have to ask him. I, I don't really, I don't really know. I, you know, I don't know if anything time if special teams uh, takes stuff off their plate. I, I don't. I really couldn't tell you. I think that'd be something you'd have to ask him. What are you losing with that wake of the team? Well, it's just a uh, young guy's got to step up and uh, got to play, and and it's the same thing. It's it's just it's been in this league for as long as I have. It, it's never really changed. We you just lose guys. You lose good players. Um, the young guys got to step up. Um, you know, before there was Cameron Wake, there was somebody else, and then it became Cameron Wake. You know, he had to step up for probably somebody else. Uh, it's just, it's been that way f for everybody. There's always probably with somebody before somebody, and then they, they get their opportunity. So now, to me, it's, with young guys, it's it's you know the biggest thing is they got an opportunity now to show what they got. You know, they always feel like they're sitting in the background behind a guy that's pretty well known like Cam and and so I never really get an opportunity. Well, now you get your opportunity. So sometimes it uh, it can be surprising. Guys can really step up and and uh, start their career. How has Correa done with more of those opportunities? I think he's played better and better. Uh, I think the long, you know, he's been in the system because he was in the system with me at Baltimore, but I think how he was used in the role is different there than how he's been used here a little bit. And I think he's really accepted that and really grown with that. And talking to some of the players, they said, among other things, with your scheme, they like kind of the freedom that you give them to make plays and just do things on instinct. How do you get to that point to where you trust your guys to, to do that? Well, I don't think you have any choice but to trust your guys. It, you know, if you, if you want them to trust you, you got to trust them. And as long as you feel like they know what they're supposed to do, Look, everybody makes mistakes uh, as coaches, as players. That's kind of really how you grow and how you learn. You learn more by probably the mistakes you make over your career than you do by the things you did well. But I think with players, the more they know as a coach, then the more you allow them the freedom and the trust. And the more that you trust them, again, I think the more they trust you. And if you feel like, okay, this is something that's too difficult for them, then I think you as a coach need to throw it out. Don't, don't ask somebody to do something uh, they can't do. So, um, you know, and you're not going to ask Tom Brady to run his own read. Right. So, you know, it's just you, you do what that guy does best, and then the more they do it, the more familiar they get with it, the more you can trust them to do it. And, then when they, and I think it also they feel good about it because we, we all have stake in this thing. It's not the coaches tell you what to do. The players have to do it. None of the coaches can do it. And I think the more – players feel like I have ownership, a part ownership, you know, just the more and the more you're going to, you know, when guys play, if, if another guy plays all the time and I'm always a backup and I never get in, yeah, I study it, but do I really study it? If I know I'm going to be in the game, I'm probably going to study it a little bit more. And I think the more you can do that with all the guys, uh, I think it's better for all of us. <coughs> How much improvement you see? Oh, I guess Oren Roberson got called up during the week. How much improvement have you seen from each of those guys? Great. Uh, both of them. Uh, Mike's alluded to it a couple times, uh, you know, in the staff meetings and, and with the team. Um, and he obviously sees it even more because he's kind of watching both sides of the ball and all that. But I think those guys have done a great job down there running the card team and doing that kind of stuff, but still working their techniques. And, and those two guys have both gotten a lot better. Well, the number one thing I'd say is stay healthy uh, is with him is he's just kind of he's had some nagging injuries that have kind of held him back a little bit. And uh, so he's just got to get healthy. And, and then once he gets in there and plays, be consistent. And I think some of the consistency has been because I think he's been banged up a little bit. Uh, 
Um, like Simmons snaps went down last week, even though Deez was on the field a good bit of time. Is that anything a change in, in, in strategy for him? Is that no, kind of no, it's just kind of the way the game played out. And at the end, it was it was kind of like the Atlanta game. I don't know if you guys remember, we gave up like a hundred yards or something in the fourth quarter once we had a lead. Especially with all the corners being out and LaShawn going down, the last thing I was going to do is put a corner out there in harm's way to give up a quick, easy score. I really didn't care about the yardage at the end of the game. All I cared about was walking home with the W. And so, you know, we were very conservative at the whole fourth quarter in that game, but all I care is that we won.